How to get name tags in Minecraft. This video is going to explain the five ways to get name tags in Minecraft. Name tags can be renamed in the anvil and used on mobs to give them names. Naming a mob makes that mob not count towards the mob cap, which has to do with spawning mobs. Also, it causes the mob not to despawn. This can be useful for hostile mobs if you are using them as part of a farm. The name tag also has four easter eggs that can render a mob upside down, have a sheep have a rainbow effect, have rabbits have a special skin, and turn a vindicator to be aggressive with all mobs. This video will be covering the Java edition of Minecraft. The numbers are the same for Bedrock, the only difference is that you can also get name tags through the buried treasure chest. How do you get name tags? Let's go through the 5 ways to get name tags in Minecraft. Number 1 is the mineshaft chest. The mineshaft generates underground in the overworld. You can find them by exploring caves as they intersect with caves or if you are mining you may come across a mineshaft. The best spot to find a mineshaft is in the badlands biome. In the badlands a mineshaft can appear on the surface. The Badlands biome is rare and can be found near either deserts or savannas in the same cluster of dry biomes. The chest loot is found in the minecart chests that are in the corridor. This is a tunnel that has rails, cobwebs, and supports of planks and fences. The minecart chest has a 42.3% chance of having a name tag. Number 2 is the dungeon chest. The dungeon is a structure more like a room that is underground at any elevation. The dungeon will generate next to a cave and will have an opening connecting to it. The easiest way to find one is by exploring caves and finding a dungeon connected to the cave. The dungeon walls will have cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, so they are blocks that will stand out next to the blocks you usually find underground. Another way to find a dungeon is by listening to mob sounds underground and mining closer to those sounds. You'll either be listening for a spider, a skeleton, or zombie sounds. There will be a spawner that spawns zombies, skeletons, or spiders. You can disable the spawner by placing torches or light sources as all the mobs that spawn from the spawner require a light level of 7 or below. There can be up to 2 chests in the dungeon. In the dungeon chest, there is a 28.3% chance of getting a name tag. Number 3 is the Woodland Mansion chest. The Woodland Mansion generates far from the spawn point. To find the Woodland Mansion, you can buy a Woodland Explorer map from a cartographer villager. The job site blog for the cartographer is the cartography table. The cartographer will sell you a Woodland Explorer map for a compass and 14 emeralds at the journeyman level, which is the third level. To get to the third level, you will have to trade with the cartographer to level them up, unlocking two trades at each level. The Woodland Explorer map will have the player as a small icon of your location relative to the map on the border. When the player is within 1027 blocks of the map, the icon will be a normal size and when the player reaches the map, it will start to fill in the land. The layout of each woodland mansion is randomly generated, so some rooms may not generate as part of the woodland mansion. There will be a loot chest in a lot of the rooms. It is possible there will be an empty chest or chest with specific loot. There are 9 different rooms with possible loot chests. The woodland mansion will be occupied by evokers and vindicators. Vindicators will be equipped with an iron axe and be hostile towards the player. The evoker casts spells. One is the fang attack, where fangs will come out of the ground to attack you and do 6 damage. Also they can summon vexes, which is a flying hostile mob that attacks you. In the woodland mansion chest, there is a 28.3% chance of getting a name tag. Number 4 is fishing. With fishing, name tags are in the treasure category and have a 0.8% chance with an unenchanted fishing rod. The luck of the sea enchantment for the fishing rod increases the chance of getting treasure catches reducing junk and fish catches. The maximum level is 3. At level 3 luck of the sea, there is a 1.9% chance of getting a name tag. As of the 1.16 update, there is a condition called open waters. This means that the bobber of the fishing rod has to be two blocks horizontally and two blocks above the water surface. This eliminates the possibility to get treasure catches from AFK fish farms before the 1.16 update. 
Number five is the librarian villager. This is the easiest and best way to get name tags. Unemployed villagers can have their profession assigned to them using a lectern job site block. The librarian at the master level, which is the fifth level, is guaranteed to have a trade of 20 emeralds for a name tag. And you can do this trade 12 times before it is disabled. This is the best way to get name tags, as you can get as many name tags as you need. With all the other ways, you can only get one name tag at a time. 